what I am finding out um, since I had my surgery, first of all, I'm a little bit in shock. Um, it wasn't till I had the surgery because the surgeon didn't know what he was going to find. Um, my left leg had only um, like 20% blood flow, and my right leg had zero blood flow. Zero. We were talking I was going to lose my right leg. So I'm still in shock that this surgeon saved my leg. Now you see my spinning wheel. This poor spinning wheel has been put away, well, for at least a year, and I've been using uh, charcas or spindles because I couldn't spin for longer than two minutes without my leg collapsing. Um, but what I'm finding since the surgery, I have to balance the use of both feet. So if I were going to buy, this is, um, I'm totally spacing out on the name of the wheel. Um, it's by Merlin Tree. One of their models is called the Ladybug. This is not the Ladybug. But they sell them with um, the Hitchhiker. Um, they sell them with two pedals. So if you ever get the chance to buy a pedal wheel, I would always buy a two pedal wheel now. Um, but I can, if I can spin, then what I would do is balance this exercise with 15 minutes of left foot treadling on the sewing machine so that I don't get back to um, a spot where I'm using one leg more than the other. Both of my legs should be equal now. And as I build up my muscles again, I want to balance everything. So if I can spin, I need to balance that with something that's um, equal for my left leg, which, because this is a right foot pedal, which would be 15 minutes of left foot treadling. And I let that break because what I'm really doing is testing my leg. Before my surgery, at this point, which is only a couple of minutes, my whole right leg um, down here would be cramping up and my foot would be cramping because there was no blood flow. Go see your doctor, do what your doctor tells you, and then when you come back from anything, come back balanced and evenly and spin and weave and sew and live American.